Hello and welcome to this Gower Society Youth video funded by the Gower Society. And today we're going to do a craft activity, creating artwork using leaves. For this first activity, you're going to have to collect some leaves. Now make sure that you ask the person who owns the land's permission before you pick them. You could do this in your garden. Now you want a selection of leaves, lots of different shapes and sizes, so that they make your artwork look even more impressive. So to make this leaf art, what you'll need is some black background. Now it could be that you use a clipboard, or you could use a piece of card, or a piece of material. And then all you have to do is place your leaves on the material in any design that you like. You can be completely creative, there's nothing stopping you use a large piece or a smaller piece. Just try and arrange them so that there's not much background shown. So the more leaves you have and the more variety, the better your artwork will look. If you haven't got a black piece of paper or a bit of material, that doesn't matter. You could use something white, even a white piece of paper, and you could arrange your leaves on that to see how different that looks. This piece of art is a little bit more permanent. It's called Hapazone, and for this you need some small triangles out of material. Now these can be out of this material called calico, or you can use things like your old bedclothes or pillowcases. You place this on a hard surface like this log, and then you arrange your leaves on top of it. Now the ones which have got lots of things that stick out make the best picture for this. So lay them on to make a nice pattern on your calico and then take another piece of calico and put it on top. Now for the fun bit. You need a rubber mallet and you need to hit it, but keep your hand away. But once you can see the leaves are starting to come through, then you can peel it off and you'll see that you have a print left behind where your leaves used to be. Once you've made as many as you want, you can then staple it onto some ribbon and make yourself some bunting. You can even use flowers to add some colour to your bunting and then leave it out in the garden to blow in the wind. The last piece of art we're going to do is we're going to make some pictures out of sun paper. Now you need to buy this, but it's fantastic paper because when you expose it to the sun, it changes colour. So we're going to block the sun using our leaves so we can make a nice pattern. Now the better leaves are the ones with lots of bits that stick out. And you need to do this quick because you don't want to expose all of the pieces of paper to the sun. So take out one piece of paper and then we're going to arrange our leaves on top of it. Now we need to leave that in the sun for 10 to 15 minutes and see what happens. So once the time is out, then remove your leaves and quickly put it into water to fix it. you have it. Well I hope you enjoy making some leaf art and if you do do any craft then please do share it with us on Twitter at the Gower Society and if you want to join us for an activity then look on the Facebook page for the Gower Society Youth and I'd love to see you at a Gower Society Youth activity soon.